Holistic Earth. Pythia was the high priestess of the Temple of Apollo at Delphi and served as its oracle, known as the Oracle of Delphi. Her title was also historically referred to as the Pythoness. The name Pythia is derived from Pytho, the original name of Delphi, which was linked to the decomposing body of the monstrous python slain by Apollo. The Pythia was established in the 8th century BC and was renowned for her prophecies delivered under divine possession by Apollo. She became particularly influential by the end of the 7th century BC and continued to provide consultations until the late 4th century AD. The Delphic Oracle was highly esteemed among the Greeks during this time, and the Pythia was one of the most powerful women in the classical world. Details of how the Pythia operated are somewhat unclear, as classical authors often assumed their readers were already familiar with the process. Some sources suggested that she spoke in a frenzied state induced by vapors, while others argued that she spoke intelligibly in her own voice. The oracle was referenced by numerous ancient authors, including Herodotus, Plato, and Plutarch. The origins of the Delphic oracle trace back to the Mycenaean period, with Apollo later taking over the shrine. Various myths associate the site with different deities before Apollo's arrival. The Pythia's role involved a ritualized process of purification, preparation, and communication with the divine. The temple itself was destroyed by the Roman Emperor Theodosius I in AD 390. Scholars have debated the scientific explanations for the Pythia's trance-like state. Some suggested it could be related to the inhalation of vapors, possibly from geological fissures beneath the temple, while others mentioned oleander and ethylene as potential causes. Recent geological investigations have supported the idea of gases rising from beneath the temple, though the exact nature of these gases remains a subject of debate. In addition to the Pythia, other officials served the oracle, including priests, hosioi, holy ones, and prophetai, prophets. The oracle's procedure involved a series of rituals, and the validity of the oracle's advice was confirmed by the consequences of its application. The temple at Delphi underwent excavations, and evidence of fault lines and underground chambers was discovered. These findings support the idea of gases or vapors playing a role in the Pythia's experiences. Overall, the Delphic Oracle and the Pythia continue to be subjects of historical and scientific interest, with ongoing research shedding new light on this ancient institution.